Yo. As some of you may remember from one of my previous videos, I said that, in my personal opinion, Marvel has done the better movies over the years. Although DC have done some good work too. Now, Marvel recently started off their Marvel Cinematic Universe Phase 3 with the new movie Captain America Civil War, based on the based on the famous Civil War comic, and I have to admit, it is a, it is a very awesome movie. I've, I've, al I've already seen it, and it is fucking ama freaking amazing, so just go and see it if you get the chance. But that's only a plate for what's to come, as with their, f uh, with their Phase 3 movies, Marvel have already, are already set to give us a new outing with... Uh, new outings with the Avengers, the Guardians of the Galaxy... Uh, and Thor, as well as giving us new movies for Spider-Man, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, and Ant-Man, and Doctor Strange for that matter, coming up later this year. But in order to fit all this in, one movie that they did have to cancel, which honestly I'm a little bit disappointed about, was The Inhumans. Now, we're only at the start of Marvel's Phase 3, and we've just had some as we've just had Civil War, and The Inhumans wasn't due to come until, like, 2019, the end of the the end of Phase 3. But I have to be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed that that's not going to happen. Now, I'll admit, like the Guardians of the Galaxy, first time I heard about these Inhumans, I had to go and look them up, because I didn't really know anything about them. But... I've had to do that before with certain characters, before I saw their movies, and to be honest, from what I read of them, I think it may not have been one of Marvel's greatest movies ever, but it could certainly have been one of their most interesting. They've got a lot of characters in there whom I think it could have been very interesting for them to explore. I mean, the leader of the Inhumans, their king, Black Bolt, he won't say a word, or at least he can't really say a word, because... His voice is his weapon. The basic the basic background of the Inhumans is that uh, how do we explain this? They they're each each member of their race is taken to a taken to something called the Terrajon Mist, which is seemingly a mysterious mist that can give someone an unnatural abilities. I mean, their leader, Black Bolt, he has a deadly voice. It was supposed he said his whisper could destroy an army, and his shout could destroy a planet. Now this became such a dangerous power that he had to be shut away in a kind of sonic-proof booth when he was a child, because his screaming and his crying, well, that, that was very deadly. That could kill many people, so they locked him away. That could, that personally, that for a character, I think could have made for a very interesting story arc in the film. I mean, other characters they could have brought in, such as his wife Medusa, who's who, thanks to the Terrajon Mist, has hair that can be used as appendages. You know, instead of her arms, she could use her hair to grab various things. They had a teleporting canine named Lockjaw, which could have been interesting to see, and also his brother, also Black Bolt's brother, Maximus, he's constantly trying to steal Black Bolt's throne. Now, I'm not going to blame Marvel for kind of c cutting out the Inhumans. I mean, if they have to make space, they have to make space, and with all the stuff we've got coming in Phase 3, do it doesn't surprise me if something has to get cut somewhere, but I, I think it's a pity that they had to cancel Inhumans, because... From the sound of it, it sounds like it could have been one of their most unusual and pretty cool movies. Kind of fixing in a lot of kind of comic ph philosophies so or kind of ways to develop different characters. I mean, having a character who won't speak, that, that could have been a very interesting turn. That could have done very well for them. But, in the end... I suppose they're going to make choices, and we'll just have to hope that the Inhumans come to the big screen sometime after 2019 and before 2025. I mean, we don't know if we'll get them again in the next few years, but all we can do is hope.
Ach, 